I want to ask, and I'm glad you said that, how much do you consult uh, now that you've been a part of it for so long? Are you going around the roster and like, listen, this is what you should be doing? I don't do that, but uh, everyone knows they can come to me to ask. Okay. And you, you know this, dude. For a great leader doesn't tell you what you should do, but you go to that leader to ask, what should I do? Mm-hmm. The best guys on the team, the vets, the captains, are the guys that, like, you know, I think I need to talk to him. And that's one thing that's been very cool is that we've got a great group that, that, that will come to me. And I'm also very honest because when I was coming up asking guys, it was either one of two things. One, they would Who were you be, asking? Uh, you know, let's, for example, I would ask, uh, let's say, Ric Flair, for mm. example. Ask him what he thought of my match. And either he s- didn't really say much, he's a great guy, or he would just lie and say that he saw the match and wouldn't give you much feedback. Um See, it wasn't from a jealous, a competitive no, just, standpoint. Just, 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 not, okay. not at all. Like, who am I? But, but and I shouldn't even say Rick because there's other guys that, that were worse than that. But they, <laughs> they, they would say like, "Did you see my match? Yes. Anything I can change? No. Nothing. No. So I've been here for six years in the business, green as hell, and there's nothing I can change. Yeah. For me, I'll always say this was good, this was good, that was bad, that needs to change. And I feel when you tell people what they need to hear rather than what they want to hear. You'll always get better results, and you'll establish a trust. You know, it's like it's like if you watch the America's Got Talent or American Idol, Simon Cowell. Everyone's scared of Simon Cowell because he's very honest. But when he gives you a compliment, you're like, wow, yeah. it means so much more. And that's what I always wanted to be, just honest, because no one's ever going to get better by getting stroked. You want to hear, like, you need to work on this. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I have a starting point. Mm. I love getting stroked though. But and now, Me what's too. the worst? Human light switch. What's the fucking uh, <laughs> worst? I told him the old nickname from the wife. Um, what's the worst thing? So you say you don't want the inmates running the asylum too. So you no. don't want like some guy coming out and having some wild idea that you know won't work. And I'm sure you'll pull back on the uh, the throttle. You didn't have that luxury when you started. I know the whole cowboy. You know when you came out. What was the worst fucking like? You know. Story? Uh, no, nah, I guess your storyline. I guess that's what you call a character. Yeah. Like, what well, what did you char- have to do that you look back always, on now and you're the most embarrassed of? Characters have always been, have always been pretty cool because I've always kind of been in charge of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's been some bad storylines. I remember with uh, China, they had us be the co-intercontinental champions where we shared the one title, which was ridiculous. That was a stupid story. There's another one when I was actually the world champion um, where I had, I was, the, it was Jericho versus Triple H, and Stephanie McMahon was my like manager, I guess. Or, <laughs> and the, they were playing the 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 thing like I was like pussy whipped by her, but I wasn't banging her, so it was kind of like just being a bitch. <laughs> and like her dog pooped on the floor, and I had to clean up the shit. I remember they actually made pieces of poop out of chocolate cake to make it look like here's the shit for the show and i'm like i'm really cleaning up this shit as a, as a world champion so it wasn't really what a world champion should be doing and i didn't wasn't able to say anything because it wasn't a i was a world champion in name only uh so you, but you go through those things and and your job as a performer just like being on a football team or hockey team if you're given one role you play it yeah if you play it and do a good job, even if you it. hate it and own it, then maybe you'll get more. And I think a lot of times, especially back in those days, they would be dis- disciplined to see if you would take it and see how you would handle it. Right. And then they would know, okay, this guy can make anything good or he'll die trying, so let's give him some more chances. Let's actually give him some good opportunities now. 